Hey guys. <laughs> What's going on? It's Coach Mark here with another programming uh, preview in the nice hot gym. Uh, so this week, it's a big week. Um, it's going to be an all testing week and it's going to be a lot of lifting, I'll be honest. So we're going to find some kind of power lifting uh, maxes starting on Monday. We'll have two tests. We have a little dynamic warm up, get you moving, and then we'll go right into an 800 meter run. Then we'll have a nice long break. So 800 meter run, just see how fast we can do that down the road, around the little island, back up as soon as you get through the door. Um, that'll be your time for 800 meter run. We'll rest and then max front squat. So we'll do a set of three, two, kind of warm up, and then you'll have four opportunities to reach a one rep uh, max. So three, two, and then four sets of one every two minutes as we normally do. So kind of a minor structural run piece, just all out, um, obviously 800 meters at the pace it, however, how accordingly to your um, kind of running ability and then max front squat. On Tuesday, partner wad, 25 minute AMRAP. This is the day to just kind of come in and, and move. It'll absolutely be, uh, you know, challenging workout, but uh, starting with 200 meter farmer carry with kettlebell. So you have a kettlebell on each, each hand and uh, just kind of a nice fast paced walk there. Switch in between you and your partner as much as you need to. So you switch out, so on and so forth. When you come back in, 30 box jump overs, 40 kettlebell swings, and then 50 double unders or 100 singles. So split up the reps. It's kind of a nice steady pace style workout. Communicate with your partner. Try to do the sets um, unbroken if you can, especially on the kettlebell and the double unders. Wednesday, bench press. Um, Again, did a max kind of lower body on Monday, max upper body on uh, upper body horizontal press with the bench press, three, two, and then four sets of one, same format on Monday. And then a short but very um, effective, we'll say, workout where we do 500 meter row, rest two minutes, and 500 meter row. So this workout really comes down to recovery. How much can you recover in two minutes? So if you absolutely blow the doors off in the first 500, um, we obviously want to be cognizant of we only have two minutes before we have to do that same effort again. Ideally, your time should not vary more than five seconds, ideally. So we're trying to match that first time um, that we got on the row. On Thursday, again, kind of a, a just kind of move day with maybe some higher skill type stuff, a lot of gymnastics in, uh, in Thursday's workout. Five rounds, three minutes to complete. Five handstand push-ups, 10 pull-ups, 20 wall balls, and then a 30 second L sit. So if you can't do the 30 second L sit straight through, then you have to obviously stop and the clock would stop and then it's accumulated 30 seconds. So that can get pretty tough. We wanna to find a proper progression that we can get through within that three minutes. Once uh, the three minutes is up, if you're still working, you're cut off there and you still get a minute rest. However, if you finish early, if you finish in two minutes, we'll actually have two minutes of overall rest on that workout. So again, great day to come in and, and maybe learn a new skill with an L sit and work on handstand push-ups and uh, pull-ups. On Friday, another max kind of lower body day, max deadlift, lower body pull, uh, three, two, and then four sets of one, same format, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So again, it's the big test week. We wanna really try to achieve the maximal um, effort on all kind of the workouts this week. After we do the max deadlift, five rounds, five deadlifts, and then 10 burpees. So again, very tough test of fitness. Um, we're gonna use 60% of whatever you get on the deadlift. So if you get 200, you'll be using 120 um, for the deadlift that day. And uh, reps should be unbroken on the deadlifts. And then you just gotta keep your butt moving um, through those burpees and just kind of grind it out to finish the week. Saturday, we're closed. It's the big time golf outing. Uh, I believe right now we have about 10 foursomes sign up. Um, we're allowed all the way up to 12 or beyond. Um, so if you're interested in doing the golf outing, it is this Saturday coming up at 8 o'clock at Boone Links Golf Course, um, kind of Florence Burlington kind of area, not too far from the gym. We've done one there before. It should be a great time. We're actually going to have an after kind of party, if you will, at the Lucky Duck there right in uh, Burlington, very close to the golf course, great food and drinks, and uh, we'll be able to debrief and maybe pass out some awards to some people that got longest drive and uh, uh, best putt close to the hole, so on and so forth um, for the day's events. Boom, I think that's our signal. We gotta get out of here. But um, 
There will be a workout available on Saturday, so obviously if you're not in the golf, I know a lot of us are not, uh, there'll be a workout posted and uh, we're gonna talk to some members about maybe organizing maybe a workout, whether it's here, outside, or even meeting up at a park, because we know you guys love the workout on Saturday and then Sunday, just an active kind of recovery with some run intervals. Um, so again, thanks so much for being a part of our community here and I uh, look forward to seeing you guys test your limits this week at the gym. See ya.